Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this OpenTX snippet, I'll show you how to mix your aileron and elevator for an elevon. From your model home screen, press the model button and then page right until you get to inputs. Notice I have very basic inputs set up here. No dual rates, nothing. Just aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, all set at 100, no modifiers. On the mixer page, I'm starting with the ailerons already set up, so I have a 50% weight on one aileron and 50% weight on the second aileron, and I'll show you what that looks like in the channel output. Press the model button and then operate the aileron stick left and right, and you'll see what happens. The mixer goes right and the mixer goes left for aileron one and two. You can also handle reversing the directions in outputs, and that's actually the preferred way to go. But for visual simplicity, I'm using positive and negative weights. Both methods work. I can't really find a reason not to do it with a positive and negative weight. Maybe you'd know, I don't. But personally, I normally reverse my outputs when I need to have one go one direction and one go the other. Next thing we need to do is add the elevator to the aileron mix. My memory device for mixing is to think about the surface that I want to mix with the thing that's going to mix it. So the surface I want to mix is my aileron. So I'm going to add the thing that I want to mix with it, and that's my elevator. So I'll press the jog dial and hit insert after, and I'm going to name this elevator. For the source, I'm going to choose elevator, and for the weight, I'm going to set it at 50. Now when you combine the full throw of an aileron and the full deflection of the elevator, both at 50%, you'll get 100% of servo travel. Then I'm simply going to copy this line and then paste it under channel 2 below the aileron by pressing the jog dial again. Okay, so now you see I've got an aileron set at 50, an elevator set at 50, an aileron set at negative 50, and another elevator set at 50. The reason we don't reverse the elevators is because we want them both going up together. If we reversed one, they'd behave like the ailerons and they'd go up and down opposing each other. So let's take a look at the channel monitor and see what this looks like. The ailerons work just as they did before, and the elevator, when I pull the elevator stick down, you can see that both elevator outputs go to the left. When I push the stick up, you can see that both elevator outputs go to the right. If you need to reverse that, it's as simple as hitting return, going into the second line, and changing this positive 50 to a negative. Okay, in this case, I reverse the elevator by setting both the surfaces to negative 50. We'll look at the channel monitor again. With the weights reversed for the elevator, now when I pull back on the elevator stick, the outputs go to the right. And when I push forward on the elevator stick, the outputs go to the left. And you can see that we still have the same aileron mixing we had before. There you go. That's how you make an Elevon mix on OpenTX. I hope you enjoyed this OpenTX snippet. If you like this kind of material, please subscribe. That's all I've got for tonight. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen. But I prefer personally to use outputs when I need to... Re but personally, I normally use... But personally... But personally, I normally... Re <sighs>